In this fifth section, we cover Linux and FreeBSD support on Hyper-V. This section has three videos. Heterogeneous integration is the first one where we discuss just how Microsoft provides Linux and BSD support on Hyper-V. We then have two sections focused on Linux deployment and management. Heterogeneous integration is the first one where we discuss just how Microsoft provides Linux and BSD support on Hyper-V. We cover three topics. LIS or the Linux integration services is the set of tools Microsoft developed to include Linux support on Hyper-V. Linux on Hyper-V showcases the state of Linux support on Hyper-V. And finally in this lesson, and it has been a common pattern throughout this course, we detail some very specific planning points around Linux. So what are those Linux integration services? Linux integration services, or LIS for short, as well as the BSD integration services, or BIS for short, are a set of drivers, tools, and services Microsoft has developed and released to the respective Linux and BSD communities in order to provide support for Linux and BSD on Hyper-V. When Microsoft releases the source code of these tools to the community, the tools are then integrated into the kernel. From there, any Linux distribution or BSD distribution can choose to enable these drivers. LIS and BSD provide primarily virtual device drivers to Linux and BSD, so things like virtual NICs, virtual storage adapters, etc. What's fantastic about this approach is this. Any Linux distribution that decides to keep the default behavior enabling support for Hyper-V through LIS automatically has support for Hyper-V. This has been the way to enable Linux support for Hyper-V for a while now, but there are some older Linux and BSD distributions for which you will need to enable and install LIS or BIS separately. We'll discuss how to go about this shortly. The thing to keep in mind is this, just like with Windows Server or Guest VMs, not all Linux VMs support all features of LIS. I list a number of features here in the slide but it is important to validate feature compatibility from the link I provide here. This lesson is focused on Linux and LIS. That said, LIS concepts typically apply to the FreeBSD integration services. Whenever I speak to someone about Microsoft's Linux support, the discussion typically goes in one of two directions. Some folks who have been around the Linux camp for a while, by a while I mean 15 plus years, will probably say something like, Microsoft doesn't play nice with Linux. The other direction this goes, Microsoft has improved its working relationship with Linux community, but it's not as good as some of the major Linux vendors. Both can't be further from the truth. Microsoft has made a huge bet on Linux and open source in Hyper-V and Azure where over half of the VMs deployed are Linux. In fact, did you know that Microsoft has a Linux distribution called Azure Sphere OS? Microsoft's commitment to Linux is clearly demonstrated by their contribution to the Linux kernel, where they consistently rate in the top five or 10 contributors to the Linux kernel. And Microsoft also provides a wide range of support for Linux distributions from CentOS, Debian, Oracle, SUSE, Ubuntu, and Red Hat. For each Linux distribution, you will need to ensure that LIS is present, and installed in order to have the best performance of your Linux VM. Most modern Linux distributions have the Hyper-V list bundled and enabled. Remember Hyper-V server? We discussed it in the very first section as a great option for hosting Linux VMs and Windows client VMs. Just wanted to remind you, it's a great option for hosting Linux. You are welcome for the reminder. One final note, Microsoft publishes a guide on best practices for running Linux on Hyper-V. Have your Linux sysadmin review it in detail as they are mostly Linux-based tweaks. Now, what about the planning steps? The first thing you need to do is validate your distribution support. So validate if your Linux distribution is supported natively under Hyper-V. If it's not, you will need to go ahead and find the Linux integration services for Linux and download these. How do you find whether the Linux integration services are built in or supported? Well, you can go to the link provided here in Microsoft's documentation for Hyper-V support, and it shows you distributions of Linux with built-in list drivers so you don't have to do anything. Just notice in the documentation, Microsoft has yet to update this documentation with Windows Server 2019, 
as of the time of authoring this course. Next, once you've validated that your distribution is supported, validate if, if this specific feature you're looking for is actually supported in lists. As a general rule, most of the modern features are supported in the modern distributions of Linux. Older distributions of Linux, you will see there's a link to the list download site. That's where you go and get it and in, follow the instructions to install it in your specific Linux distribution. In this video, I'll show you how to go about the planning steps straight from the Microsoft website. So the first thing you want to do is go to the supported Linux and FreeBSD virtual machines for Hyper-V on Windows page. I have the link provided in the slides. Next, pick the specific distribution of Linux that you're looking for or BSD. So let's have a look at CentOS and Red Hat, for instance, and scroll down to the specific series for CentOS and Red Hat in this case. Notice the legend that says anything with a check mark built in. So that's where you go and check the version of Red Hat. Notice the different versions. And for a modern version, notice that there's two versions of 7.5. That's just confusion associated with how Red Hat went ahead and named its version of Linux. But it shows for modern ones, which ones are built in, the features on the left, which version of Hyper-V is it supported under. And for ones that are not, well, you see this is the old 7.5. Click on Linux Integration Services from there, and you go ahead and download it. There's an ISO file that you can just mount, or the tar file that you install in Linux. And that's it. Hopefully you've seen that Microsoft treats Linux as a first-class citizen with very good support for Linux on Hyper-V. Modern Linux distributions have the Linux integration services built in to the Linux kernel. All you need is typically to just acquire that distribution and install it. We'll see that in the next section. For legacy Linux distributions, you will go ahead and download and install the Linux integration services.